Okay, let's talk about fighters now. Uh, starting with Soulfist. So my Soulfist is an EO Soulfist. And it's an ult, so I don't really care as much about it. The tripods that I got transferred over is the energy release stuff, the cooldown, and ready attack. This one is so important. And then I based it off of the main DPS skill. This does the most damage, so I got it at to all tripods. So one, two, three, four, five. And then <clears throat> I have additional other skills too. For example, this could have been four, but this I just had it. And this also particular buff skill was uh, giving buffs for three seconds at three stacks. So I put that as level five. So that's six tripods that I've leveled up for free. Uh, which is page one right in the page two i was looking through all these things and going like oh maybe i should just level this and i just put i just bought these two and then you just level up more things like cooldown this particular cooldown here but as you notice i don't have tripods here right that's because i ran out of slots so this would be one two a uh, six seven <coughs> eight and then nine and then uh and then this point go ten eleven right and then i have one more slot so probably somewhere around all right here so that's that's just two pages and i get to be so much stronger and have all the cooldowns ready to go i think this is a perfect example of like how i efficiently did it without spending as much because this ult would have everything at level one and then it would have been smoge dps right but instead before the tripod change i paid the payons transferred over got 100 percent level fives on 12 skills right for free now that was so fist Let's talk about War Dancer. Actually, I don't know much about War Dancer. That's a problem. So there's so many War Dancer builds. So if you are a War Dancer main, I am pretty sure you guys have opened every single one of your skill inventory page and put all the skills that they have needed. Because do you know why? Sometimes there's a one spender. There are two spenders or three spenders. There's four spenders. There's first intention. And first intention have like the entropy build, they have everything, there's too many. So in my case, I focus tripods on these two things. Because these two things tend to be the most expensive ones. For example, this particular one, you have the cooldown one and then you have the ready attack, right? And then I have, you know, you guys call this the wind fart. I had the wind fart one for the elemental generation and the explosion later in. I haven't paid a single dime on this particular war dancer is because I collected it very slowly from Chaos Dungeon loot. And I also have uh, some of the, uh, the the smaller levels here, right? The 4, 4, and 1. So the, she is missing a little bit, but the main DPS skills that are very important, like, you know, this radio attack here and then another radio attack here. I just leveled it up to 5. This one was level 4, which was a mistake for me for meter gain. This should have been level 5 for meter gain. If you're a war dancer main, the build changes all the time. So you would open up all the pages, get the tripods for, you know, the tornado, get the tripods for any other tripod that you know that people are, are starting to use. For example, like, you know, the explosion, the tornado. Sometimes I heard that they use the, the uppercut too. Then, you know, you would always want to put a tripod there just in case. But again, the thing that we can learn here is classes that relies heavily on tripods should open all five pages on the skill inventory and move over what whichever you think it's important that's going to be in like maybe different guides i may have like a word answer interview set up very soon but word answer is it's too it's too hard it's too hard to build there's too many builds uh so it's so it's gonna take me for like five hours to explain everything i can tell you another story is uh word answer mains in korea they spent an average of 200 to 300k gold every time a balance patch happened because they need to move over a tripod like two three tripods to make the build viable you don't want to do that what if you have all the tripods ready to go and then the war dancer buff changed like war dancer got buffed war dancer got nerfed you have to change your build you don't have to worry about tripods all you need to do is worry about combat stats and engravings that's it tripods change very often compared to combat stats and engravings so it is important for you to get as many tripods as you can for war dancer because they change all the fucking time and i'm pretty sure you guys know this already Let's talk about the people's favorite striker. I also had a zero to giga chat series for a striker as well, getting the tripods. It was so expensive. It was like a general old way to do it. But after this uh, striker change, I opened up a slot, right? I opened up a skill and added a bunch of skills too. For example, the elemental buff related, elemental gauge gain related skills. This tripod was 8,000 gold. 
uh, before the tripod change. When it was 8,000 gold, you know what that means? You have to buy it, you will be praying for a 10% chance. Now I just have it for free because I just added it uh, to the library. And then you also have the meter gain for this uh, moon flash kick. And you also have a meter gain for this skill. Not that many people use it. Some people don't actually use this skill. Uh, they put it as level 7 sometimes. Uh, it's different, but if you happen to be putting this skill up up to this point, you have you have more meter gain, right? If you have, you have more meter gain, you get to use less wealth rune. And if you use less wealth rune, you get to fill up your gauge within a couple of combos. So Striker's goal is to fill up all your gauge, and then you use your gauge spenders for that maximum amount of damage, unless you're esoteric build. These tripods, the, the elemental gauge gain tripods is so, so, so important. And obviously, the lightning kick does the most damage, right? Your lightning kick is a signature attack. So it should be the same case for you guys. I should open at least one or two pages and make sure to get all the elemental meter gain skills to full tripod, even the particular third one over here, uh, even though some people don't go for it. Also go for the buff ones, because this one, if you land it, your attack speed, movement speed increased by 19.2%. This seems to be really good as well. Uh, and then, you know, the cooldown related skills are very important, right? Because you need to have this particular cooldown. This is a thing I made a mistake, actually. I would I, I would have wanted to have this as level 5 to have it cool down much faster. That's what I focused on, the meter gain and then the cooldowns, and then you just need the damage skills on these two. If you're a striker main, you would also get some of these tripods on other meter gain skills, like this one, right? The elemental gains. And you would also add in some tripods for the other spenders, because who knows? What if this particular tripod, uh, what if this particular skill, the tornado, gets hella buffed? You would have to use it, right? So again, if you're a striker main, I would open up all pages. Or if you're like striker-ish, you would try to get an enjoyer. You'd also open at least one or two to make sure to get the meter gain skills and cooldown skills. So later on in the future, you can put it, you can manually put in the damage related skills because the damage related ones tend to be a little cheaper than cooldown ones. I don't know why, but I think uh, it's because uh, most people think about damage only. And now let's go to scrapper. So my Scrapper actually gets MVP almost all the time, uh, even though it's at 1447. I actually beat MVP on uh, 1470s, even with the 4-3 and a, and a 1. And the reason why is because I have all the tripods. Tripod is so important. It impacts so much damage. So going over the Taijutsu stuff that I did, this used to be Ready Attack a long time ago. And Ready Attack was the number one number one tripod for you to level up as five but since it changed to uh dps skill uh that's what i have as dps skill i have the fives here for the dragon and this particular skill it's at one because i ran out of tripod taijitsu scrapper uses all 18 i think as far as i know because it's at 0 18 right so all of them are five so this particular skill increases by 387 percent guys so it's a counter, but if you put it on, it turns into a decent damaging skill. Same for this one, 555, five, five, right? And then you have 555. Five, five. So based on, you know, so far as I know, during my interview uh, with Foss for uh, Scrapper, these are the choices. You can actually use this one for longer combo. Most people who are using this is high swiftness Scrapper. But high crit scrapper tend to use this one because it's quicker, that like quicker animation. That's why getting these tripods earlier is so important because I can't, I'm locked out. As in like, let's say I, I want to try a high swiftness scrapper, I can't do it. I will need to spend money on this tripod and I don't want to because it's an alt. Now going this and then the main skill, obviously you will need to get this. Again with another uh, taijutsu, both taijutsu and, and shock uses the death rattle. So you have the cooldown one. You can actually use the attack speed one if you want to. Again, it's an option, right? It's something if you think you have an option to, it's good to invest it into it. So you have these three. And at the same time, this only got me three pages because it's 18. 18 tripods, guys. 18 tripods is only three pages. So you only need to spend 50 blue crystals to open one and then just get all the tripods for Taijutsu. And then your alt character is just jacked as in it's ready to go it's very strong but if you are a scrapper main 
who think that you're going to swap back and forth a taijutsu or a shock, you will need to open two or three more pages to level up some shock skills at, at the same time as well. It's going to be better, but it's not going to be better for, for to people who is going to prepare now. They're giving you a once in a one, once in a lifetime opportunity right now, guys. Now going over to Lance Masters. This is what I got. This is my pinnacle Lance Master that goes salvation. It does it doesn't have the new um you know the, the, the new ones that they do for the entropy, whatever the build is. I know the most important ones here is this Shackling Blue Dragon cooldown. So I got that as level five. When I uh I didn't spend any money on this, as in like I had two pages for free. I was running Chaos Dungeons, and then I swapped back and forth on the level 4 tripods to get 12 tripods. Look at this, I have 4 out of 18. I'm actually not using 4 tripods. So these is, this is like an example of a class that you can actually uh, go away with uh, less than 18 tripods. Speaking of which, this was important for me, and I wanted to level up my blue skill. These three skills are preference as far as i know it, this is preference actually like you know this one does the most damage but it increases the cast time uh this one is the fastest and this one is uh the combo one that is like a in a middle ish area because think about it this way let's say you're playing on a raid and you you die every time you use this skill because the animation is longer let's just hypothetically say that and then you get pissed off because like let's say you're using this skill and then you get hit every time what if you actually had all the tripods for three of them? You switch to this and make your animation shorter and you get hit less. The fact that you could switch tripods on the fly, it is so good. So covering that and I have the two blue skills here. I put it as 4-4, you know, because it's not as important. And this particular red skills though, this was damage related, so I put it as damage related first. But the cooldown is not as important, so I put it as four, right? And this one is also the damage related one. I just got it as manually. And in same case, this particular one skill, I never used it, so it's at one. So this is the mistake that I did. I should have opened a page and got a third. You know, you know, get get six more, if that makes sense. Uh, other than that, uh, I don't have anything else. Like, this one was for free, so I just put it up there for distance. And other than that, uh, that was just the thought process I had for Lance Master. But again, Lance Master is a class that have a lot of skills. So if you're a Lance Master main, I would also open up all the pages and get all the red skills too. As in, who knows you're going to use this or who knows you're going to use this skill. After the patch, this particular skill was uh, buffed, and then this particular skill was buffed. So most people use three red and then two blue skills. And before before the patch, people used to use two blue skills and then uh, four, yeah, f uh, four blue skills or something like that. I don't I don't quite remember the actual build for it, but I remember back then before the balance patch, we used to use two two red skills, which is these two. But people are using three red skills now because the particular skill got buffed. Some people use even, use even four. Uh, then the interesting part is, if I have leveled this tripod beforehand, how strong would I have been? But if I want to level this now, it's going to cost me seven peons each time trying for 20%, including powder, guys. It's going to be crazy. Are you going to do it now or are you going to worry later? Like you're going you're gonna to go through hell later. So someone in chat also said Memo has failed so many times, but if he had prepared it earlier, he would have never done that in the first place. I am warning you guys who was watching this video that more tripod, the better if it's your main. More tripod is always better. You'll never have to worry about it ever again. Okay, so with uh, stopping up with the Lance Master, that was all the fighters, guys. So all the other fighter video section is complete here. So we'll keep going over to the next category of classes.